Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about the Grey Ghost SD GT Sling. So, uh, this is a two point sling. I ended up paying about $23 for it. I got it from Optics Planet, and uh, I think that this is going to end up being the two point sling that ends up being on this rifle. So, here are some things that I like about it. First of all, it comes with everything you need to attach it to the gun. There's no hardware required. If you wanted to add hardware, you could of course do that. That wouldn't be a big deal. But at this end, it's just a tri-glide, right, that I've attached to the buttstock. And then at this end, same thing. It's just a tri-glide that attaches to the front. So you can just loop it in there, uh, attach it to your gun, and you're good to go. That's pretty cool. The other thing, and they thought this through, I'll give them points here, is that most of the sling is made out of Hypalon. Uh, which cuts weight and uh, is actually really comfortable. Hypalon to me always feels like I can tear it in half, but it, it's actually pretty tough stuff. Um, so I thought that was pretty inventive. I, I really hadn't thought of that or seen that. So the entire back half of the sling is really made of Hypalon. They only use nylon on the front here for the slider, which we'll talk about in a minute. They also put in some Velcro right here so that you could attach a morale patch or an IR indicator or something like that. I just thought that was pretty cool. I haven't really seen anybody do that before. Um, I guess maybe they could have put some molly in here too, but again, not really sure what you'd attach to it, but I just like that. It's like having that option. They also put in this wider pad right here, which rides, you know, right where you wear the gun, right? So it ends up coming in right where you need it to be. So it's it's pretty comfortable. It's, like, it's a comfortable sling to wear, um, which I like. And for $23, uh, you know, it's pretty tough to beat. So here's the one downside to the sling. And given the fact that they thought about so many things when they went into the sling, I, I can't believe that, that they didn't, that they screwed this part up. But again, I think it's still a good sling and it's, it's going to live on this rifle. But here's the deal. So for a quick adjust forward, what I ended up doing was I added in this paracord right here so I could quick adjust the sling forward. Right. The reason I had to end up doing that was because the only other option or the option from the factory is you're supposed to grab this buckle and physically move this buckle forward to tighten the sling. That's the quick adjustment forward. Um, so I just added a piece of paracord so I could just grab it and pull forward. Right. Otherwise, I have to find the buckle and slide the buckle forward. I just I just didn't like that to loosen is really quick, though. They did give you a nice, great pull tab here to loosen and that loosens it. That's no problem. But I just wish they would have used a, a slider system that's different, that adjusts different, so that you could easily adjust up and down with the same pull tap. I don't want to have to mess around with two different pull taps, right? Which I guess you could say, well, Dylan, you don't. Just grab the buckle. But again, I, I like having something to pull because I like to be able to cinch my, my two-point up tightly when I need it. That's, that's part of two-point sling management. So unlike, for example, here's an AR500 armor sling which I've done a different video on this, but see how this system works real well. They have one tab and that one tab either loosens or tightens the whole system, right? Why couldn't they have put a, a nice, easy, simple system like that on this sling? If, if they did, this would be like the best sling for the money, hands down, no questions asked, because it's 23 bucks and it's super comfortable. And again, they use the hype a lot. I mean, it's really inventive. I, I'm a really big fan of this sling. I'll tell you right now, normally I'm a single point sling guy, but uh, this is a really cool two point sling. I really like how they thought through this. And I like the fact that you don't need hardware to attach to the rifle. And I like the fact that it's not paracord loop or anything. It's, it's you can just try glide it on. So that's a uh, really cool deal. This is the Grey Ghost, Grey Ghost gear. SD GT, gotta come up with a better name there, boys. Sling. Uh, big fan of it. If you're looking for a two point sling that is affordable, that's gonna get the job done for you, I'd recommend this sucker. Hope it's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.